Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's time to start the final vision and take on Naha Tomb. Hopefully saving the world. cannons that have been passed down for generations. We don't have much time. Listen closely, everyone. These cannons must be fired at the same time or they'll have no effect. The five of us will man the cannons. You two will have the job of handing us ammunition. Ammunition? Inflated enemies should do the trick, right? He's here! Corral, you stay back! Let's get it started. Clearly, he is only interested in me, and that has a reason behind it. Because you'll notice that he, he could hit any of the other five guys around there, but he doesn't. And that plays an integral part of the story. Now, you notice he just shot a bunch of enemies up in the air. These guys you can't do anything about. But this fourth one here, that's the one that you want to grab and throw! Throw into the cannon. You're supposed to jump over that, but I did not expect him to do that, so I didn't react in time. That's all right. Uh, there's a couple of happy bouncy enemies over there of which I will use for more ammunition. Do not get caught by the tongue. <laughs> I tried to jump over it, but I had an enemy. Did not work out very well. I was a little bit late in my timing. Needless to say, that hurts you. It doesn't kill you though, but it hurts you. It takes half a heart away. Where'd my buddies go? Oh, any cannons that are already filled, you can tell that they have red on, I mean, you know, they're, they're flashing red, so... That shockwave isn't as high as it looks it, that is. <clears throat> it like, it's not as high as it looks like, excuse me. Alright, it's waiting for more enemies. It's the only thing that I can do here. Can't do anything else but way... Oh, they're going around in different directions this time. I'm going to have to do something like that, I think. <laughs> Hope I can double jaw. Oh, thought just ruined my combo. <laughs> well, it wasn't really much of a combo, actually. It was more of just like dodging, I mean. Alright, I'm gonna get that guy and hopefully. Yes! Fire! Fire! Now! I said now. <laughs> you guys could kind of, you know, save me from taking a hit here if you just shot the cannon at him. Okay, now fire! One hit knockout! But of course it's not over. I mean, this is the final boss, jeez. Oh my. This does not look friendly in the slightest. Notice those four crystals. You just gotta throw enemies at them. Those crystals are in the background. Just grab an enemy, go to the edge of the platform, and shoot! I missed. <laughs> an enemy will always appear right in the center, so just gotta wait for it to reappear when, when it does. There we go. Focus on whatever ones you're near, I suppose. There's no real order that you have to hit them in, nor is there any certain timing. You just have to destroy them all. And they don't come back once you hit them, so you just gotta make sure that you know which ones are left so that you don't dilly-dally and, you know, put your, make yourself vulnerable to more hits. Laser eyes aren't that hard to dodge, you just gotta jump in between them or just jump over them altogether. Okay, now we got a blue crystal, or purplish crystal, I suppose. It's like a bluish-purple crystal. Oh, how the heck did I manage to miss that? <laughs> I, I actually think it just wasn't ready to be hit at that moment. Oh, well, now it's pinkish, actually. Alright, but as you see it's moving now, and that's another part of the gimmick of this boss here, and that's it. It's not really hard in phase two. But of course, there's a third phase. That's just way, way too easy. Oh, 
Okay, this is getting slightly gory now. Definitely not kid-friendly in the slightest. Look at those ribs that are showing. They seem fine to me. Listen to what he says there. Between the platforms. All you have to do is grab an enemy and drop an enemy down where there's, you know, they're rotating around the edges there. All you want to do is... Ow. Oh, Sonic Rain Boom! Sonic Rain Boom! Dang it! <laughs> now, wait for a cannon guy and drop it in just like that. You gotta do that five times. His roars are apparently so loud he can shatter the crystals. So beware of that. And he does more of them as he, well, as you get more cannons filled up with goodies and the cannons that you already filled up will not show at the bottom there so you don't have to worry about dropping I should say throwing an enemy into a cannon um, at the, like the wrong time or something like that you know that you don't fill the same cannon twice or something like that by mistake all right looking good just need two more enemies and I hate those little black ones they are so very much in the way <laughs> oh dear oh my oh my like because they jump from platform to platform they get in the way of your jumps basically that that's why they're so in the way and good one left uh, see it almost got me there I hate those little critters and there's another one coming around. I guess it's easy to jump over them when they're in the middle like that. I mean, when you're in the middle like that, rather than trying to jump across when they are. But otherwise, they really get in your way. Alright, need to find the remaining cannon. I know I'm going around in the same direction they are, but I kind of have to because he just keeps chasing me in that fashion. And... yes! Fire! Fire! Go! Yeah! It's all. All right, this is it, Quinoa. We're almost done. What do you mean? To finish it off, you're gonna have to shoot me into Nala Tomb with a wind bullet. But you, Bo, wait a minute. If I do that, what will happen to you? Don't worry, it'll be fine. I promise. We'll always be together. I know we can win this. We just have to make this last shot. Okay. everyone. Now all the nightmares have at last disappeared. Hupo. You said that we'd always be together!
Yupo, you're okay. I got you. I won't let you go. Are you feeling any better today, Hupo? Yeah. You just have to take it easy and rest. After all, you don't have to worry about Natum now. Hey, Hupo, listen. I was just wondering, are you going to go back to the Moon Kingdom? But we'll see each other again soon, right? Hey, let's go and hang out in the field together, like we did before. Listen, Klonoa. Hmm? I have to tell you something. You see, you really... Well... You really don't exist in this world. What do you mean? We needed to restore the balance of dreams. So I brought you here from your world to help us do that. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, but it's true. This world that we're in, it isn't the world of your reality. But that's impossible. You're wrong. There's no way that can be true. I mean, I remember my whole life here. I remember when I met you. And how we'd hang out and play together. Well, that's because... Because I actually created all those memories for you. But none of it really happened. You were just made... To think that it all did. You're lying! That's a lie! That can't be! You're lying to me! No, it's not a lie. It's the truth. The strange dream that Gaudi has talked about... ...was caused because the reality that you come from... ...is considered nothing more than a strange dream in this world. It can't be. When the feast sings her song so the world can be reborn, you won't be able to stay in this world anymore. No way! Uh-uh! I'm not going anywhere, and nobody's gonna make me go! Klonoa, you don't understand! You don't know how much I wish I could change things! What's that? Whoa! Huh? Klonoa! The time has come for you to go back. Back to your Phantom Isle. No way! But I don't want to go! I don't want to go! No! Hugo! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
that ending is absolutely beautiful. Nothing I could have said there would have made that scene any better than it was. But, despite that being the end of the game, it's not actually the end of the game. There's still one more extra special left if you get all the captured villagers, as I did. As well as a few extra modes which I'll run you through in a bonus video of sorts, I guess. I don't think the upcoming stuff is canon to the storyline, but they are entertaining. Uh, a few things that I would like to clarify here in the storyline in case you didn't pick up on it. Uh, the first thing is Gaudius. He is apparently one of five spirits. Water, tree, light, wind, and himself, the Dark King. Gaudius wasn't always bad, but because he is a being of nightmare, he was shunned by the people of Phantom Isle who pretty much didn't want to accept you know, nightmares into their life, even though he's kind of like, you know, part of the whole balance dealio thing. Um, the Light Spirit, however, was very loved and more powerful than Gaudius himself. Needless to say, that made Gaudius extremely jealous, and he became very hateful towards them. Eventually, he attacked the Light Spirit, and was successful in overpowering it. I don't, I don't know if it's a he or a she, but that's what I'm saying it there. Just thought I would clarify that. However, the other spirits uh, combined their powers to beat him and sealed him away in darkness for 3,000 years. Well, when he was sealed away, he came up with a plan that would break the seal and lead to the eventual, <coughs> eventual destruction of Phantom Isle, you know, because he's still in his bitter rage at the time, as you've seen him try to do. Um, I don't know how he got out, so that, I don't think that was ever explained, but he did. Uh, but that's pretty much his backstory. He's also one of the few that seemed to know what Clonoa was, you know, aside from Hupo, which explained that he, you know, he wasn't a part of the world, but the game hinted at uh, Gaudius knowing that when he call Clonoa a strange dream or something like that. As for Clonoa himself, he isn't a part of the world. Um, despite you playing as him the entire time, he had to go back once his task was done. You know, once he got brought to the world, once his task was done, the world was reborn with Songtra's song. You've seen how that went. Um, what else did I want to say here? Uh... Oh, everything that he thought he knew before he was brought into the world, you know, all the memories, was pretty much just a lie. Just to, you know, make him see, make it seem like his whole life was there, but it was actually in a completely different place. But it was, of course, done for, you know, the greater good of the world. But in the time that he was there, you could definitely tell that despite, you know, him not actually knowing Hupo as long as he did, they ended up developing a really strong bond anyway. Uh, but sadly it was cut short as you've seen the ending, and that's what makes it such a beautiful ending. Well, it's, it's very sad, but it's beautiful in the same time. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to save my game and end off this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part.